Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this special <laughs> Halloween edition of Mike on the Mic. I'm Mike Hughes. Lots of things to talk about. Hope you like my costume. First off, we're going to talk soccer. We're going to talk college. We're going to talk high school. We're going to talk volleyball. We're going to talk cross country. Lots of good things. So here we go. First off, in regional boys soccer, Hayes High defeated Wichita Trinity last Friday, two to nothing, in the Class One to Four A Regional Championship in Wichita. The Indians, now 12 and six on the season, play Andover Central in Andover today on Halloween in the state quarterfinals. Now state volleyball, we got to say congratulations to the TMP Marion Lady Monarchs and the Northern Valley Lady Huskies state champions after tournament action this past week. Up. First off, in Class 3A, 3A at Emporia, TMP defeated Wellsville and Beloit in pool play, both in two sets, before falling to Cheney in two sets. The Lady Monarchs 2-1 record, though, in pool play, placed them second and put them into the bracket play on Saturday. In their first match on Saturday, TMP defeated Heston in two sets to advance to the championship match in a rematch with Cheney, who had defeated them in pool play. And TMP won that match in three sets, 25-22, 18-25, and 25-19 to win the state title. Heston defeated Nemaha Central for third. And in Class 1A2 at Hayes, the Northern Valley Lady Huskies won their second state championship. In pool play, Northern Valley defeated Axtell in three sets and Waverly in two sets before falling to Beloit St. John's Tipton in two sets. The Lady Huskies did finish two and one in pool play to advance to bracket play on Saturday. Their big match was a three set win over the number one seed, Grainfield Wheatland Grinnell, to advance to the title match to face Otis Bison. The Lady Huskies then won that match in two sets, 25-15, 25-17, to capture the state crown. Greenfield Wheatland Grinnell beat Beloit St. John's Tipton in the consolation match. And in the 2A state tournament at Emporia, the Smith Center Lady Redmen finished fourth. They defeated Meade in three sets and Leon Bluestem in two sets before falling to top seeded and then defeated Gossel in pool play on Friday. However, their 2-1 record placed them in bracket play on Saturday, but lost to Olathe Heritage Christian in two sets, then Valley Heights in two sets, and the consolation match to finish fourth. Olathe Heritage Christian, the defending state champion, then handed Gossel their first loss to win the state title back-to-back. -back. And in 1A1 in Hayes, Sylvan Lucas finished third. Following that, the Kansas Volleyball Association named their 2017 All-Tournament teams. And congratulations to the Lady Monarch seniors Ashley Ostander, Kayla Vitstam, and Savannah Yost, who made the 3A All-Tournament team, and from Northern Valley, juniors Paige Baird, Zoe Cox, and senior Shaley Lowry claimed All-Tournament champions in the 1A Division II. So congratulations goes out to those young ladies. Also taking place this past weekend, state cross country. First off at the 4A girls meet at Wamigo, 105 runners competing. Finishing 27th was Yesenia Maldonado of Hayes, and 71st went to Tana Harriman, also of Hayes. In 3A girls action at Lawrence, 103 runners, the TMP Lady Monarchs finished third. They took the top three teams out of the four regionals last week, 12 teams went to state along with other individuals, and TMP again finished third. Individually, Lexi Katz from Norton was fourth, Julia Wirth of TMP Marion 15th, 22nd went to Abby Hoover of Phyllisburg, 27th was Kylie Allen of TMP Marion, also TMP Marion runners Emily Shippers finished 31st, Kiara Urban 37th, Taylor Teal 51st, Emily Schulte 62nd, and 73rd was Cheyenne Rhodes. Also at the 3A meet at Lawrence was the Norton Boys, where they had 106 runners, and the Norton team finished fourth there. Individually, Connor Hall of Norton finished in ninth place. Cale Patterson from Norton, 18th. 23rd was Ricky Keene of Norton, and finishing 61st, Tucker Gosselin of Norton. 
TMP Marion's Jared Mayers finished 65th, and in Norton Runners, Austin Corporich was 76th, Mason Urban 90th, and Nathan Brannick 98th. The 2A girls tournament took place at Wamigo, 93 runners there, and the Trigo Lady Golden Eagles as a team finished 6th. Helen Giefer of Trigo finished 3rd, Sybil Giefer of Trigo 9th, both in the top 10. Emily Dierks of Hoxie finished 13th. Trigger runners Aaliyah Howard was 53rd. Sydney Boyle 79th and 89th was Gracie Hickson. Then in the 2A boys meet at Wamigo, 105 runners. Trigo competing there, the Trigo boys finishing 10th as a team. Individually is William Giefer of Trigo 20th. Bernard Giefer of Trigo 30th. Chase McCullough of Plainville was 38th. And Trigo runners William Barney was 41st, Benjamin Anderson 83rd, Andrew Mejia 100th, 104th place was Cooper DeSormers of Trigo, and 105th was Evan Wilds. And in 1A girls at Wamego with 87 runners, the Lakeside Lady Knights as a team finished 6th, Carly Chrysler of Natoma finished 21st individually, Courtney Betts of Lakeside was 23rd, Haley Miller of Palco 31st, Miley Miller of Lakeside was 34th, and Lakeside runners Leona Harsman was 51st, Alyssa Lowe 69th, and Macy Ellis was 70th. And in 1A boys at Wamigo, 91 runners there, Victoria, the Knights finishing ninth as a team. Individually, Anton Rees of Pike Valley was 7th, Christian Miley of Victoria was 19th, Cameron Delaney of Osborne, 24th. Chase Schmidt of Victoria, 47th. Quinters Jonathan Jacka was 55th. And in Victoria runners, Quentin Engel was 68th. Alex LaRue, 70th. 76th was Keone Sweat. And in 89th place was Nicholas Rukoff. Now, men's soccer, let's talk Fort Hay State soccer. As the men's team defeated Lindenwood Sunday 1-0 to clinch their first MIAA title in the program's history. And speaking of Fort Hayes State folks, how about them Tiger football players? They beat Emporia State Saturday 34-7 to go 9-0 and take sole possession of first place in the MIAA. They can clinch their first MIAA title with a win at Northwest Missouri State this Saturday, November 4th. No easy chore. Northwest Missouri State only has one loss. That came to Pittsburgh State last weekend. Their final regular season will be at home against Nebraska Kearney on Saturday, November 11th, 2 o'clock game time. Folks, let's pack the house for the Tigers. We have more for you here on Mike on the Mic right after we take this break. Before, during, or after the game, take your crew to the Golden Q. If the game is on, they're open. The Golden Q in Hayes has the largest gourmet burger menu around. They've also got a super selection of sides, appetizers, salads, wraps, homemade chili, wings, and more. Their Blizzard beer system is guaranteed to keep your drawn brew between 27 and 30 degrees. With a dozen different beers on tap, they've got just about everyone's favorite. Open daily at 10 a.m. The Golden Q, 809 Ash in Hayes. Hi, I'm Alex, and here we are at Herman Physical Therapy. Mariah, do you need doctor's orders for PT? Nope, but if your doctor orders PT, you can still choose to come to us. Great. Is Troy in? Yes, he is. Alrighty, thanks. Hey Troy, is it true you do free consultations? You betcha. Why did you choose Herman PT? He makes it fun. Would you refer a friend here? I already have. Well, there you have it. Herman Physical Therapy and Wellness. Good for the body, good for the soul. From senior trips to toddler adventures and youth sports, the Hayes Recreation Commission is your one-stop shop for fun. Check out all the fall and winter brochure for a complete list of scheduled events and classes. The fun times continue in the HRC Wellness Center where you can enroll in personal training and memberships. The HRC provides fun and fitness for all ages. Find them at hayesrec.org, call or stop by and learn more. When it comes to commercial and residential concrete construction in the Hayes area, J Corp is the preferred choice. They can handle your project from ground up, including excavation, site prep, to finished concrete and pavement, driveways, curbs, streets, parking lots. No job is too big or too small. They also sell and deliver sand, rock, and asphalt millings. Call for a free estimate today. 
the rock solid choice in concrete construction. J Corp, 1707 East 10th Street in Hayes. Well, now we've covered everything else. It's time to talk about football here on Mike on the Mic. I'm Mike Hughes, special edition of Halloween, and I'm dressed for the occasion. First off, let's take a look at next year's classifications for the schools for the 2017-2018 season. First off, this is for the entire, all sports with the exception of football. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hayes High will be 4A next year. Now next year, there's no 4A1, 4A2. You could be 1, 4A. Hayes will be classified as 4A. We go to 3A. It'll be TMP, Marion, North, Phillipsburg, and Russell, all yet in 3A. 2A, we'll see Ellis, Hill City, Hoxie, Plainville, Smith Center, and Trigo. And in 1A, Northern Valley, Lakeside, Thunder Ridge, Logan, Rock Hills, Natoma, Osborne, Palco, Quinter, Golden Plains, Pike Valley, Stockton, and Victoria. Now things are going to change as far as football classification. Some big changes coming here. First off, Hayes will be in 5A, 32 schools there. Then we go to 3A, the only team in 3A for football next year will be Russell. Now we go to 2A, as in the past, 2-1A has been together. Next year, that's going to split. 2A and 1A will be separate. 2A next year for football will find TMP Marion, Norton, and Phillipsburg. In 1A, the smaller division, will be Ellis, Plainville, and Smith Center. 1A1, Hill City, Hoxie, Stockton, Victoria, and Trigo. And in 1A, or excuse me, 8-man 2, will be Northern Valley, Lakeside, Thunder Ridge, Logan Palco, Rock Hills, Osborne, Quinter, and Pike Valley. So some changes there. Now what's that mean for district play? Well, some big changes coming, especially in 2A and at 8-man 1. For Hayes, they will be 5A and the 5A West. Then in Class 3A, District 8 will now have Beloit, Colby, Concordia, Goodland, Russell, and Scott City. 2A, what a district here, because these teams now going from four teams to 16 districts in 2A. District 8 will find Ellsworth, TMP Marion, Hoisington, Minneapolis, Norton, and Phillipsburg. Then we drop to 1A. No changes really here except for the classification. District 5 will see Republic County, El Saline, Sacred Heart, Smith Center. No changes there, same as in the past. District 6 in 1A will stay the same with Ellis, La Crosse, Oakley, and Plainville. Now we get to 8-man 1. Changes here. District 7 will have Clifton Clyde, Hill City, Lincoln, Stockton, Victoria, and Washington County, which is going to go to eight-man football. Not long ago, they were 3A. And in District 8, we'll find Rollins County, Hoxie, Leota Wichita County, Decatur Community, St. Francis, and Trigo. We go to eight-man two. District 4, Beloit, St. John's Tipton, Lakeside, Lynn, Mankato, which is Rock Hills, uh, Pike Valley, Southern Cloud, and Tescott. And District 5 will show Northern Valley, Thunder Ridge, Logan Palco, Osborne, Sylvan Grove, and Wilson. Now, nothing yet on six man, but Case is going to have to take a look at that and decide. I think they're going to be forced to sanction six man football as we've got eight teams right now playing that uh, in the state of Kansas, including some area teams. And also, Case is going to have to be looking at travel time. For instance, it's going to be in 4A, an example. Ulysses right now has away games with Lebec County, 365 miles, and has an away game with Pittsburgh, 395 miles. You're talking all day on the bus, all night on the bus coming home. Case is going to have to step up and come up with some neutral sites for some of these teams next year in district play. Well, how did everybody do last week? How the districts come out? And who's in the brackets to play in the in the uh, playoffs. We'll tell you all about that right after this break. 
Karst Water Well and Drilling Service has been drilling water wells and installing water systems in the area for over 84 years. Whether your project is residential, agricultural, commercial, or municipal, Karst Water Well can do the job right the first time. We offer design and consulting services and use the latest technology with only the best water system components on the market today. So no matter what kind of water well or water system you need, Karst is the company to do the job. Call us today for a consultation. Regulations and tax laws are always changing. That's why businesses and professionals turn to the experienced team at Mapes and Miller Certified Public Accountants. With eight CPAs to assist you, they offer a wide range of services from tax preparations, bookkeeping, and payroll to auditing and accounting services. They can also help farmers, ranchers, and small businesses with tax planning. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. Mapes and Miller Certified Public Accountants with offices in Norton, Phillipsburg, Stockton, and Quinter. Progressive Physical Therapy Center has been an integral part of the Hayes community since 2007. Tim Marcus, physical therapist, has led the Hayes physical therapy team ever since the business opened. The Progressive staff offers expert care in a friendly environment. You no longer need a physician's referral when seeking services provided by a physical therapist. Call Progressive Physical Therapy. Their licensed therapists provide personalized patient care and treatments. Progressive Physical Therapy, 2209 Canterbury in Hayes. We are your Northwest Kansas premier roofing contractor. We've got you covered before and after the storm. Let us evaluate the condition of your roof and discuss options. We'll often be able to offer efficient, affordable alternatives. Call Roofmasters for a free estimate today. Roofmasters, that's who you're looking for. Welcome back to Mike on the Mic. I'm Mike Hughes. Well, on the special Halloween edition, we're going to talk about how did everybody fare out last weekend? Well, last weekend's games, it was Phillipsburg over Russell, 56-6. TMP Marion lost to Norton, 57-15. Logan Palco fell to Bennington, 34-32 in a close game. Pike Valley beat Lynn, 56-6. It was Rock Hills over St. John's Beloit Tipton, 54-8. Osborne uh, shut out Lincoln, 54-0. Ellis beat Oakley 34-27. Stockton lost to Lakeside, a high-scoring affair, 74-34. Hill City was shut out by Rollins County, 56-0. Victoria over Solomon, 56-8. Thunder Ridge lost to Northern Valley in a game you saw here on Next Tech Local 1, 52-6 last Thursday. Trigo lost to St. Francis, shut out 58-0. Smith Center defeated El Saline, shut them out 54-zip. Hayes lost to Walmigo 24-21 in the game Friday night you saw here on Next Tech Local 1. Plainville beat Lacrosse 49-6, and it was Hoxie shutting out Decatur Community 50-0. Now, six-man play, even though they're not sanctioned, they uh, do have a bracket set up. Golden Plains lost to Shiloh 38-27. They will play Weskin for third place this Saturday, November the 4th. Final state rankings after the regular season. The 3A, no change. The top five, all 9-0. Number one, Nemaha Central. Second is Phillipsburg. Third, Conway Springs. Fourth, Silver Lake. Fifth, Galena. In 2-1A, Smith Center stays number one with an 8-1 record. Number two now, Jefferson County North, 9-0. Third is Centralia at 7-2. Uh, St. Mary's Colgan is fourth at 7-2 and, and falling to fifth after losing in five overtimes to Opie last week, Linden now fifth at eight and one. Eight man one, top two teams undefeated. Burling Gave and Spearville, they're one two. Osborne third at eight and one. St. Francis fourth at seven and one. They had a bye, so they do have one less game. Hoxie fifth at eight and one. And an eight man two, Hanover Pike Valley still remain one two, both undefeated. Third is Otis Bison at eight and one. Moving up to fourth, uh, Hutch Central Christian at 9-0, and now in the top five, Rock Hills. They're in there with a 7-2 record. Now, looking at uh, the districts, McPherson finished uh, as a champion, Walmigo the runner-up in 4A1 District 8. Hayes finished 3-6, did not make the playoffs, as did Abilene. 3A District 14, Phillipsburg the champion, Norton the runner-up, TMP and Russell both out. TMP finished three and six, Russell four and five. 
2 1A, District 6, Miss Center of the Champion, El Salina runner up. In 2 1A, District 7, uh, Plainville the Champion, Lacrosse runner up. Ellis finishes 2 and 6, they're out, as was Oakley. 8 Man 1, District 4, Osborne the Champion, Victoria the runner up. Logan Palco on the outside didn't make it at 6 and 3. 8 Man 1, District 8, Hoxie the Champion, St. Francis the runner up. Uh, Hill City finished. Uh, out of the playoffs, five and four, Trigo two and seven, Quinter 0 oh and eight. At eight man two, District four, Pike Valley the champion, Rock Hills the runner up. And at eight man two, District five, Northern Valley the champion, Silva Lucas the runner up. On the outside, not making the playoffs, Lakeside, they finished three and six, Thunder Ridge two and seven, and Stockton one and eight. Well, what's that mean as far as playoffs and who's gonna win? I'm gonna tell you right now. First off, in Class 3A, you have the number one, four, and five seeds, Nemaha Central, Silver Lake, and Galena in the top side of the bracket. Uh, number two, Phillipsburg. <coughs> number three, Conway Springs are in the bottom. I predicted Phillipsburg and Silver Lake in the finals, but I'll tell you what, if Nemaha Central wins, they're ranked one in the state, Silver Lake fourth in the state. They both win their first round games. They're gonna meet in the second round. And Phillipsburg's going to have a rough road to hoe. They host Riley County uh, tonight, but they could meet up with Conway Springs. I think right now they're the hottest team in 3A. Uh, in the third round, that could happen. But I'm still going to take Phillipsburg and Silver Lake in the championship game. Class 2-1A, Smith Center down at the bottom there. Of course, they're ranked number one. The, top, the other top four seeds are all in the upper half of the bracket. Uh, Jefferson County North has an opening game, Jackson Heights. They just lost their first game last week. Centralia, Pittsburgh, St. Mary's, Colgan, and Linden still up at the top. Smith Center down below, no doubt. They should make it to the championship. However, there's a good chance they could have a rematch with Plainville in the final four. Plainville, I think, will handle Meade this week, and I think have no problem with the winner of Sidgwick L. Celine next week. And Linden, even though they lost last week to Opie in five overtimes, I'm still saying Smith Center and uh, Linden in the championship in 2A. Berlin game, Osborne, the top of the bracket in eight man one. You see Spearville, St. Francis, Hoxie in the bottom of that bracket. I think it's going to be in the championship game. Berlin game is going to come out and play Spearville. That in eight man one. I'd like to see Osborne, Hoxie get in there, but I think it's going to be a long road to hoe. And in eight man two, I've been saying all along, I thought it would be Pike Valley and Hanover. Unfortunately, they're both in the top half of the bracket. So both of them could not advance. Looking at the bracket, uh, Pike Valley plays Pleasanton uh, next week. I think it's going to be in the finals. It's going to be uh, Hanover and Otis Bison, but Hutchinson Christian Central is doing a great job right now. Also, uh, Rock Hills, they travel to Hanover for their first round game. Uh, Northern Valley is going to be playing Hodgman County, who right now is ranked fourth in the state. Well, that's going to do it. Our final edition here, Mike on the Mic, for the 2017 season. I want to thank Leon's Welding and Fabrication. Go out and see Leon Fondacy at the game, East Highway 40 for all your welding, fabrication, and powder coating needs. Thanks to our sponsors at Next Tech Local One and our games. Thanks to my cameraman, Ivan Sanders. We'll see you next year.